Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn another embedding technologies or elements present in HTML that is object to iframe. So we will be having some uh, other embedding technologies or other embedding uh, what I can say elements like object, embed, iframe. So these are also available. Let's try to see what are those things and what is the history of this object, embed and iframe and why we recently we these days we are using iframe so excluding these all the elements let's try to see about the history of these things so before continuing to learn about the iframe now we have clear idea of embedding things into the web page like audio video and the image so now up to now we have got a clear idea how to embed the things something like audio video and images audio we can use the audio element video we can use the video element and image we can use the img element so these things are very clear for us at this point we would like to take somewhat of a sideways step so now we have understood about the audio video and images now we let's try to understand another some other things like looking at some elements that allow you to embed a wide variety of content types into your web pages that is the iframe embed and object elements so if you try to see in another websites or anywhere you will be able to see these type of elements like iframe embed and object elements so exactly what are these elements and why we need to use these elements and where these elements will exactly will be suitable let's try to see it iframe so now first iframe we'll try to see as you all all the people are aware of this one iframe are for embedding other web pages so if you want to embed other outside web pages or any other web page if you want to embed or if you want to show in your web page you will be using this iframe element and the other two allow you to embed pdf svg and even flash so that means the other object and embed elements we have seen right other than this iframe so the other two is used to allow you to embed to embed means to show the pdf svg and even flash a technology that is on the way out but which you will still see semi regularly so this is also flash is one technology so it, it is uh, right now it's faded away but still we will be able to see in some websites or any other web pages we'll be able to see so if you want to embed pdfs svg and these all the things in your html web page if you want to show means we will be using the other elements like object and embed and if you want to show other web pages other web pages in your html document means we will be using this iframe template a long time ago on the web it was popular to use the frames so frame used to have some uh, frame element we used to have the uh, element by name frame tag so a long time ago on the web we used this frames concept to create the websites so the what is this frames is a small parts of a website stored in individual html pages so previously in the olden days long time ago in the web in the html so each part something like header footer sidebar navigation main content so these are all the parts used to create as a separate html pages and they used to save it in the separate separate html pages and they used to add it in a web page using the frames so this is the concept long time ago it, it used to happen so that is for using the frames they used to do so these were embedded in a master document called a frame set so these are all the frame, uh, html parts will be there right it will be there in a separate separate files and these all are combined in a master document called the frame set so these are long back uh, gone away but i am trying to explain you the history of these things why we need to use this which allowed you to specify the area on the screen with which that each frame filled rather than like sizing the columns and rows of a table so like this we will be using a little while later so afterwards a little while later in the late 90s or early 2000s plugin technologies became very popular such as java applets and flash so afterwards after the frames and these all the things are gone so now next the plugin technologies also came those are nothing but java applets and flash so these allowed web developers to embed rich content into web pages such as videos and animations at the time earlier 90s 2000 so we don't have the video element or audio element like this html native support is not there so at the time we will be using java applets and flash to embed rich content in the web pages animations so which which just weren't able through html alone so we cannot do the in the html alone right so because of this reason 
we will be made, uh, taking the help of java applets flash and all those things so embedding these technologies so that means adding these technologies was achieved through elements like object and the lesser used embed so embed is also embed and objects are used to add these technologies like flash java applets and all those things in the html if you want to add means you will be using these elements object and the embed and they were very useful at that time so they have since fallen out of fashion due to many problems including accessibility security file size and more now these all the things are are faded away because of these many problems like accessibility security file size and all those things so these days major browsers also has stopped supporting plugins like flash also now these days if you try to see the major browsers also has, sub, has started has stopped supporting the plugins like flash finally the iframe so this iframe so finally this iframe element appeared so we have learned about this object and embed object are used to embed add the pdfs svg and other technologies like java applets uh, flash these are all the technologies if you want to add in your html element means we will be using this object or less we will be using this embed technologies but if you want uh, uh, and also in the world days we also seen about this frame set and the frames also now also in html it is available but those are all are deprecated actually so we are not using right now in the olden web pages we used to see these all frames and frame set now finally now iframe so iframe is the latest now we will be using this one uh, very commonly you will be able to see this iframe finally the iframe element appeared along with other ways of embedding content such as canvas video etc so there's the html5 and all the things introduced and all the things iframe element appeared along with this audio video these all the is there right so embedding these are other things so iframe also appeared this provides a way to embed an entire web document inside another one so what what does this iframe does so this iframe embeds embeds means adds the entire web document so if you want to add the another website and uh, if you want to show another web page inside your uh, what i can say inside your web page means we will be using this iframe as if it were an image or other element so it's a just how the iframe will work is just as the image element so how the image element works html element in the same scenario iframe also works as if you are adding an image how you will feel how uh, adding an image in the same scenario you can also add another web page into your web page also using this iframe so are other such elements and is used regularly today so right now so the commonly used thing so if in order to embed the other web pages and all those things the commonly used regularly is today is the iframe even today now if you want to embed this youtube also if you try to see youtube also youtube also is using this iframe only for example let's say that for example let's say that we have our youtube video if you open this youtube video if you try to see here and in this one if you try to see share so here you will be able to have an embed if you click on this embed you will be able to see this iframe so this is uh, this is called as an iframe so if you want this iframe you can copy this all iframe and you can paste it in your website so that this youtube video will be appearing into your page okay so this is the technology right now all the people are using iframe so previously they used to use this object embed and all those things which are not right now useful so the latest one is the iframe thing in the next video what we'll try to see is we'll try to see this how to use this iframe how can we add this iframe in our in our web page and what are the attributes present in this iframe let's try to see in this next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you